Hey guys, this is my review to the season finale of Better Call Saul Season 4. If you've seen my premiere review, you probably know a lot of what I'm going to say. It's well acted, the camera angles are great, and it's well directed. But my overall opinion of the series is that you have a good starting episode, a good ending episode, but most of it is filler. You know, you could summarize some of the episodes as Mike goes to a strip club with the boys. Like, that's pretty much half one of the episodes. And I feel like it's got this real character transformation from Jimmy to Saul. But they stretch it out so much that you can barely see it happening. And it's hard to appreciate that character transfer when it's so slow. Now, on one hand, I suppose you could say, yeah, but I like that because it seems more organic. You know, people don't change overnight. They sort of yo-yo back and forth. And he's done that. But for me, I feel like it's been stretched out too much to the point where I'm watching it more to finish what I've started by watching these series than actually because I think it's a really great series. I mean, if you look at Google Trends, you compared Breaking Bad to Better Call Saul, there's no comparison. If you look at Breaking Bad when it was a big thing, and debatably still is, and compare Better Call Saul, there's no comparison. It hasn't managed to live up to the name of Breaking Bad, and that's a failure on its part. Which is really sad because the acting is great, I just feel like they've tried to stretch out a story which would have made an amazing one series, like let's say you made 15 episodes and basically took the plot from episode 1 and episode well, 10 from each series, I feel like you could have had a series which was as good as Breaking Bad. That's my problem with it. Now that said, this follows on with the trend of the last episode being really impactful. And you see Jimmy starting to become Saul and it makes sense within the character because you've seen him sort of experiment with this character, you know, he's been acting as that person as sort of like a facade to deal with grief. And he's finally adopting that mantle at this point. So I'm, I'm happy for that, I like that. It doesn't really make up for some of the, what I'd call slightly more boring episodes in the middle. But I still enjoyed it. And one of the things that really stood out for me in this one was Mike. Because I didn't really, I, I've never really cared for his character that much. It shows a character transformation for him in how he's changed as a character through this one episode. How he stopped being the character that he was in season one and became the character he is in Breaking Bad. Now, you can really see that him. If anything, I'd say it's done. this series has done a better job explaining Mike than it has explaining Saul, which is really strange. This is going to be a very short review just because most of the stuff I said in my premiere review still applies here. You know, it hasn't reinvented the wheel. It's continued turning very slowly, and it's a very impressive wheel, but it's still going very slowly, and I feel like it's going to lose more people than it's going to gain. It goes either grow, or they shrivel. Better Call Saul, I feel like it's getting smaller with each season, not growing in popularity, and that's quite sad, because I do enjoy it. Yeah, it may sound like I'm a huge critic of it, but I actually really like it, and I look forward to it. I just wish it would move faster. Okay, so that was my review of Better Call Saul Season 4, the season finale. I get the impression some people aren't going to like my review, so feel free to tell me why in the comments section. Tell me what you loved about it, tell me what you disliked about it. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And tell me, are there any TV shows that you'd like to see me review? Okay, see you next time.